description and the framework that we're working in is not reaching everybody. At Push Green, you know, we do work with uh, some state programs that actually are able to help a lot of people connect to weatherization and energy efficiency. Uh, but when it does come to some of those sustainable energies uh, like geothermal, like solar, and, and like so, uh, wind power, for instance, you know, these are not things that are reaching to every single uh, person, every single socioeconomic uh, level within the city, and that's really defined by, you know, race and, and segregation. Buffalo is a pretty segregated city, so, you know, part of the work that we do at Push Green every day is figuring out ways that we can connect these services that are available through the state to really make them effective for people that traditionally, like John was saying, you're getting your lights cut off, you know, you're not concerned about putting solar panels on your roof, you're more concerned with, you know, keeping some money in your pocket so you can pay your utility bills. And I think, you know, as we're working to make energy efficiency a real thing for the folks who live in the city of Buffalo, it's important to, uh, you know, make sure that we're touching some of the, the hardest hit communities. You guys all took a tour of the, uh, the Green Development Zone today. And, you know, that community is a testament to how uh, this just transition framework and the work that we do every day can really touch every level of the socioeconomic scale and it can, uh, also, you know, a lot of the work that we do, uh, you know, we're working with contractors who are suburban contractors who uh, have quite a bit of, of money and leverage, uh, but we're working with them to create uh, community benefits agreements so that as we're, we're working to, you know, generate leads and create work for these, these industries, that they've agreed to do some hiring from the local community. We do a lot of work to <coughs> develop a workforce uh, that is from the west side some of those houses that you guys saw today were um, abandoned houses five years ago, and we were able to kind of use those spaces to help develop young men and women's skills. This is returning prisoner population. These are folks who, uh, their only other option is to really work the streets. So we want to give them another option to invest in their community, to do some work in the community, to really help build their community and build wealth within that community so that they are not, you know, in that school to prison pipeline so they're not you know ending up behind bars because they're choosing a way to to you know make make some money on the streets we want them to be able to have uh, options to help make money by servicing the community being a part of the green economy we've you know today we've helped over 30 30 young men and women get jobs in the green economy we have partnerships with uh, solar installers that are helping put young men and women to work actually doing this work and when we talk about just transition you know and talk about making it work for everybody you know I feel like push is a really great example of of how we can kind of leverage some of these programs that Joe mentioned earlier um, to work for us at a level that it works for everybody um, so we're helping you know young men and women get jobs in the green economy we're helping homeowners across western New York and renters save money on their utility bills and making their homes energy efficient and also looking into the future as we talk about renewable energies and how renewable energy is the future and how we're going to transition into this new economy that young men and women from you know communities of color are, are really getting those jobs and they're not being shut out of of that because there's no workforce development sites there's no training sites in that community there there's no opportunity well we, we want to be able to be the model that provides those opportunities for young men and women in our community. And I think um, over the short period of time where I've been with Push Green, we've, we've actually done a lot of good work to um, create opportunities like that for people. And also for homeowners that, you know, just because you're middle income doesn't mean that you have a lot of money to do this kind of work at your home. So, you know, the work that we're, we're trying to do every day is to make sure that, you know, we're leveraging state money to help um, we're leveraging that state money to you know, get funding from other sources, so we're kind of doing holistic um, housing services for people, you know, helping put a new roof over their head, helping make their home energy efficient, and helping put young men and women to work, to actually do this work in the green economy. So it's not just a concept here. At PUSH, we're able to actually make some of these concepts a reality. Uh, and I'm, really proud of the work that we've been able to do. I'm, I'm glad that all you guys have come to Buffalo today to, to tour and, and see it. I know some of the feedback I've gotten already has been uh, a great testament to the work that we do. I uh, 
it's not often enough that we get to step back from the work that we do and see what we're you know what we've been able to accomplish and so being here tonight really just does help me uh, keep the fire lit to keep to keep going and keep doing the work because uh, it's really important that the just transition isn't just about you know workers in the industry or or whatever it's about making sure that the transition really does reach households of every every level and, and communities all over not just <coughs> rich folks who can afford it but really making sure that these things are working for for everybody so that's absolutely awesome. thank you now i'm going to pass it back to home okay.